Good evening, ladies and gentlemen. Okay, ladies and gentlemen, how are you? Good morning, no, good morning, good evening. Good evening, teacher. How are you doing, Bani? Are you fine? I'm fine. Excellent, I'm glad to hear it. Thank you. Yes. Well, now that you are here, eh, Doña Yolanda Cativo, Alexander, uh, well, welcome, welcome on board. Thank you, teacher. Okay, you're welcome. Okay, let's, I'm going to share the screen and let's begin. So good evening, everyone. Today is August the 31st, the last day of the month. And this is the pre-intermediate two. Tonight's topic is how was your vacation? How was your vacation? In the agenda tonight, we have how was your vacation? The past tense of B, welcome back, and I'm your new neighbor. Okay, with this, we finish a module number two and we start number three, okay? because by Thursday, you're supposed to do the midterm, right? By Thursday, we're supposed to have finished a modulo tres, right? Okay. So the objectives continue to be to discuss past events. Okay, so let us see. Do you remember what we studied yesterday? What are the things that we studied yesterday? We studied uh, the past tense, uh, regular and irregular verbs. Excellent. Yes, we did that. Past tense of regular and irregular verbs. Okay. Excellent. Today we're going to practice a little bit on them too. Okay. So let's continue. Okay, let's begin talking about this topic, your neighborhood, your neighborhood. Uh, is your neighborhood safe? Teacher, what is safe? Talking about security, is there security in your neighborhood? Okay. So, who would like to tell me if his neighborhood is safe? Yes, Yolanda, please tell us. I think that uh, in my in in the place I live is safe because people can go to the park and with the family and ah okay excellent very good don't thank you Alexander, how about Don Rafael? What do you think? Hello. Hello, good evening. 
Good evening. Is your neighborhood safe? Yes, it is. Okay. Um, uh, there is a security, there is a, a park, there is a garbage service. Mm -hmm. And yeah, we can do uh, to exercise in the in the street. Mm -hmm. uh, we can go to the park, and we can meet with some neighborhood. With some neighbors. Mm -hmm. Neighbors, right? Okay. Uh -huh. Excellent. Thank you, Don Rafael. Thank you very okay. much. Okay. Somebody else? Can you tell me about your neighborhood? Is your neighborhood safe? What services are there? What things can you do there? Eh, Doña Yolanda Cativo, eh, you have activated the microphone, but it doesn't seem to work. Maybe if you reset the application. Now? Ah, wow. Now, yes. Excellent. I have a question. Uh, how do you say Centro Histórico in English? That would be the Historic Center. Mm -hmm. Historic Center. Okay. Center. In, in my case, I live in Historic Center or Historic Downtown in mm -hmm. Santa Tecla. Uh, in my opinion, it's safe because we don't need any security or uh, private security. Oh. And <laughs> yes, uh, we walk uh, uh, in the street. Mm -hmm. um, we have a lot of services here. Uh, you, you can walk, you can walk with your pets, or you can uh, go out uh, without problems, I think. Okay, excellent. Yes, I know Santa Tecla is pretty safe. Yes, it's very safe. Excellent, thank you very much. Somebody else? Maybe Florence? Hey, Noel. Hi, teacher. Good evening. Good evening. Okay. Okay. Um, I think my neighborhood is safe, but I have really little time here. Uh -huh. I I moved mm -hmm. from uh, Wachapan yes. to Santa Ana, mm -hmm. and I mm -hmm. lived there for a year ago. Oh, you there? You lived there for a year. Uh -huh. Yes. Mm -hmm. And I think is is safe for now. <laughs> it's my opinion. Okay. Um, and I had a lot of service. A uh, gas station is near here, and a supermarket, Walmart, mm -hmm. is near here. And and the things I can do is work. <laughs> Walk outside because there are many trees. Yes, there are many trees. Yes, and that's it. Okay, excellent. Thank you, Florence. Thank you for sharing with us. Okay, very good. Thanks. You're welcome. How about Noemi? What can you tell us about your neighborhood? Uh, my neighborhood is very dangerous. Oh, is it? Yes. Uh, exit a lot of person, uh, bad boys. Mm -hmm. 
okay. But you know what time you can go out and what time you can't, right? Uh, yeah. Uh, sometimes I I go to buy different things, uh, food, for example. Mm -hmm. But um, then I I prefer stay home. Yeah, I imagine so. Yes. Yeah. Okay. Well, thanks for sharing. Thank you very much. How about Claudita? Can you tell us a little bit about your neighborhood? Hello. Hello. Uh, my neighborhood is safe. <laughs> How do you say uh, colonia? Neighborhood? The neighborhood is my mm -hmm. your colonia. Your colonia, your neighbor. Uh -huh. Yes. Yeah. It's safe, but if you uh, go in cars, because if you go, if you go walking, walking is it, not it's safe. Not, okay. <laughs> yeah, it happens. It happens a lot. Okay. What things are there in your neighborhood? Is there a bank? Are there supermarkets? Yes, uh, it is a gas station, supermarket, bank, and all okay. you need here. <laughs> Excellent. I'm glad. That's nice. Okay. Thank you. Thank you for sharing. Okay. Thank you very much. Now let us move on. Let's continue. We're going to be talking about this later in the unit. Okay. With other people. Now. Let's begin with exercise one. How was your vacation? The purpose is to discuss past activities. So listen and practice. Hi, Don, how was your vacation? It was excellent. I went to Hawaii with my cousin. We had a great time. Lucky you. How long were you there? About a week. Fantastic. Was the weather okay? Mm, not really. It was cloudy most of the time, but we went surfing every day. The waves were amazing. So what's the best thing about the trip? Well, something incredible happened. You won't believe it. Later, we're going to see what happened, okay? Let's see, over here you see Dan in Hawaii uh, surfing, right? Okay, let's see. I need volunteers to practice the conversation. I have two volunteers, Noemi and Karina. Okay, so Noemi is Celia and Karina is Don. Okay. 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 Hi Don, how was your vacation? It was excellent. I went to Hawaii with my cousin. We had a great time. Lucky you. How long were you there? About a week. Fantastic. Was the weather okay? Not really. It was cloudy most of the time, but we went surfing every day. The waves were amazing. So what was the best thing about the trip? Well, something incredible happened. You won't believe it. Okay, excellent. Thank you very much. That's nice. Let's see. Later, we're going to see what was something incredible that happened. Okay. Uh, two other volunteers. Hi. Okay. I have uh, Don Mauricio Morales and uh, Andrea Sosa. Okay. Very good. Don Mauricio is done. And uh, Andrea is Cecilia. Okay, let's begin. Hi. Hi, Don. Who was your vacation? It was excellent. I was to Hawaii. I went to Hawaii with my cousin. He had a great time. We had a great time. Look at you. Look at you. How long were you there? About a week. Fantastic. Uh, was the weather okay? 
Not really. It was cloudy most of the time, but we went surfing every day. The waves were amazing. So what was the best thing about the trip? Well, sometimes incredible happens, happening. Uh, you won't believe it. Okay, excellent. Thank you very much. Okay, other two volunteers? Yes, uh, I see the, the hands. Don Rafael and uh, Luisito, okay? Luis Alonso, so. Okay, Don Rafael begins and Alonso continues, okay? Okay. Hi, Don. How was your vacation? It was excellent. I went to Hawaii with my cousin. We had a great time. Lucky you. How long were you there? About a week. Fantastic. Was the weather okay? Not really. It was cloudy most of the time, but we went surfing every day. The waves were amazing. Okay. Amazing. So, Amazing. Mm -hmm. So what was the best thing about the trip? Well, something incredible happened. You won't believe it. Okay. Thank you very much. So amazing. Yeah, it's a difficult word, right? Amazing. Vacation. Excellent. Cousin. Okay. Weather. Really cloudy, surfing, amazing, and of course, incredible, incredible. And then happened, happened. Okay, excellent, very good. Now, the last two people. Okay, Claudita and Doña Yolanda Cativo. So let's begin. Claudita begins. Okay. Hi, Dom. How was your vacation? It was excellent. I went to Hawaii with my cousin. We had a great time. Lucky. How long were you there? About a week. Fantastic. Was the weather okay? Not really. It was cloudy most of the time, but we went surfing every day. The waves were amazing. So what was the best thing about the trip? Well, something incredible happened. You won't believe it. Okay, excellent. Thank you very much. Now, so how was your vacation? Okay. Was the weather okay? What was the best thing about the trip? Normally when it's with what, voice goes up and down. What was the best thing about the trip? How long were you there? Okay. So the more polite goes up. How long were you there? Okay. So that would be for the questions. Now let's continue. Let's discover what was amazing that happened. He says, so tell me what happened. Well, like I said, I went surfing every day. One day, I entered a contest and I won. I got first prize. Wow, congratulations. But that's not all. After I, went to, uh, after I won the contest, a man asked me to model for Hawaiian Surf Magazine. I'm in next, uh, no, I'm in next month edition. Can you believe it? A model, okay? So that is the, the, the best thing that happened that he found a job as a model. Okay, let's see who wants to do this dialogue. Okay, I don't know if Doña Yolanda Cativo uh, put her hand down or she wants to be an, a new volunteer. Okay, new volunteer now. Okay. Okay, I see Don Cesar Oviedo is going to be done and uh, Doña Milagro Mira is going to be Celia. 
Okay, let's begin. So tell me what happened. Well, like I said, I went surfing every day. One day I entered a constant and a warm I go first prize. Wow, congratulations. Both the not all offer and want the concert. Okay. In May, asking me to model for Hawaii Surf Magazine. I need next month edition. Can you believe it? It's a model? A model? Mm -hmm. Not all. That's not all. But that's not all. But that's not all. That's not all. But that's not all. I want to come. That's not all. Uh huh. Exactly. And first prize. First prize. Okay. Excellent. Very good. Thank you. Right. Thank you very much. Now, Don Elvis Abrego is going to be done, and Doña Yolanda Cativo is going to be sale. Okay. Yeah. Okay. So tell me what happened. Well, I, I, uh, well, like it said, I went surfing every day. Once day, I entered a contest and I won. I got first prize. Wow, congratulations. But that's not all. After I won the contest, I mean, asking me to model for Hawaii Surfing Magazine. Um, I'm in next month edition. Can you believe it's a model? model? A model. Mm -hmm. Excellent. A model. Mm -hmm. a model. So, uh, we say a contest is like a competition, right? Like um, okay. patient, like Miss Universe and all of those things. That's a contest. Okay, so, all right, excellent. The last two people. Hi. Okay, I have, let me see. I have Don Dagoberto Rodriguez. Welcome on board, my friend. And Florence Magaña. Okay, so uh, Florence is Celia and uh, Don Dagoberto is done. Okay, so please begin. So tell me what happened. Well, I like said, I went surfing every day. One day I entered a contest and I won. I got first prize. Wow, congratulations. But that's not all. After I won the contest, a man asked, for, uh, asked me for uh, to model for Hawaiian Surf Magazine. I'm a next month edition can you believe it, a model? Mm -hmm. Excellent, very good. Thank you very much. That's very good. Okay. I have uh, Don Elvis Abrego. I don't know if he put down his hand or he's the next volunteer. Okay. No, I didn't. You did, okay, you did it, right? So, excellent, very good. Okay, now let's continue. Let's see. Uh, we're going to decide whether these things are true or false. True or false. Please help me. Okay. Let's see the first. Uh, activate the typing. Here we go. Sometimes it takes a little. Okay, there it goes. Okay, my friends. It's a little big, but no problem. Okay, he went to Hawaii alone. You don't know? No. <laughs> false. false. That's right. Okay, false. It's false. Why do we say that it's false? He went to Hawaii with? His cousin. His cousin. His cousin. His cousin. cousin. Uh -huh, with his cousin. Uh -huh. Okay, excellent. Very good. Second, second sentence. The trip was boring. False. 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 Yeah. 
life also falls. He didn't do anything all day. False. 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 Mm -hmm. He was there for a month. No. False. It's false too, right? How long was he there? False. He was there for a week. For a week, exactly. He was there for a week, so it was false too. The weather was bad. Uh, yes, because it was cloudy most of the time. <laughs> cloudy most of the time, yes. However, did that interfere with surfing? Maybe not. No. no. So was the weather bad? False. 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 Maybe false. Yeah, because it wasn't raining and there was no, there weren't tornadoes or something to interfere with that. Well, there are no tornadoes in Hawaii, of course, but okay. It was most of the time. True. We said that it's true, right? We say that it's true, okay? True. He went dancing. False. 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 What did he do? Surfing. He went surfing. Okay, the waves were amazing. Yes. True. 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 Yeah, the waves were amazing. It's true. Okay, excellent. Very good. Now, bye bye, Don and Celia, and let's move on. Exercise two the past tense of the verb to be. The purpose is to discuss whether in other situations using the verb to be. Okay, some examples are, were you in Hawaii? Yes, I was. Yes. Weather okay? No. Okay, was the weather okay? No, it wasn't. Over here, there is a typo. Okay, it wasn't. Okay, no, it wasn't. Were you and your cousin on vacation? Yes, we were. Were your parents there? No, they weren't, right? How long were you away? I was away for a week. How was your vacation? It was excellent. Was not is contracted, wasn't. Were not is contracted, weren't, okay? So this is about this thing. Now, but there is more information about that. So say like, say like this. Normally we say, I was, you were, he and she and it was, right? He was, she was, it was. But we were and they were. Okay, so we're going to be making sentences using this information. Sleepy, busy, angry, worried, a lawyer, an engineer, mechanics, doctors, nurses, at home, at school, at the park, at work, and the time expressions, yesterday, this morning, last night, or two hours ago, three days ago, last year, okay? Again, yesterday, this morning, last night, two hours ago, three days ago, in last year. So again, sleepy, busy, angry, worried, a lawyer, an engineer, mechanics, doctors, nurses, at home, at school, at the park, and at work. Now, we use the verb to be with three types of things, adjectives, nouns and places, right? So some examples of sentences could be, uh, I was sleepy yesterday. I was sleepy yesterday. You cannot say I was an engineer, okay? Notice that this one don't have time expressions here. Why not? Because we are going to talk about other people who probably died, okay? For example, if you are a doctor 
you even you can be retired, but you are a doctor. Okay, you stop being a doctor, well, you die and you wear a doctor, okay? But um, if it's a different job, like a soldier, you were a soldier, but you are not a soldier anymore. Or if you're a truck driver, you were a truck driver and you're not a truck driver anymore. Like, um, but if it's a career that you studied at the university, for example, once you graduate, you are that for the rest of your life. Of course, uh, that, that is good to find a job, right? That is the purpose of that, to find a job. So over here we say, uh, you were a lawyer? Not really, right? But you can say, he was an engineer, she was a lawyer, okay? And you say, we were nurses, maybe, but you say they were nurses, talking about the ones that are gone. Of course, they are not here. So normally you say they were mechanics, they were engineers, they were nurses. These two are plural. This one can be plural. You were mechanics, okay? But over here, we say like this, he was sleepy, he was busy, Okay, he was sleepy last night, okay? She was worried this morning, etc. Okay, volunteers to make sentences from there. Okay, uh, Claudita. I was busy this morning. Excellent, very good, thanks. Okay, Noemi. I was angry this afternoon. Ooh, that's bad, okay. <laughs> All right, nice, thank you very much. Somebody else, another volunteer? Okay, Doña Milagro, mira. They were at the school last year excellent very good nice don elvis abrego uh, i was uh i uh hung uh, at the park last night okay i was at the park last night excellent then visito um, mm -hmm. um, I was uh, sleepy uh, last night. Excellent. I was sleepy last night. Okay. Very good. Okay. Somebody else? He was be, uh, busy at work. Okay. He was busy at work. Sure. Very good, yes. Okay, somebody else? They were at home three years, three days ago. We were at home three days ago. Okay, yes, very good, that's nice. For example, if you talk about a cat, you talk about a dog, you can say it was sleepy Okay, or he was sleeping in the sofa, right? So you say, it was angry. The cat was angry, right? So, okay. Oh, about the weather, teacher? About the weather, too. It was uh, raining. It was rainy yesterday. This was, morning. Uh -huh, it was rainy this morning. Yes, it was cloudy. Exactly. Mm -hmm. Yes, very good. Okay. Thank you very much. Now let's move on. This is only an idea, an introduction to help you with this. Okay, so let's see. Let's complete uh, these conversations. You help me. Okay. How long were your parents in Europe? Okay, how long were your parents in Europe? They? They were there. They were there for two weeks. 
They were there for two weeks. Excellent. Very good. Uh -huh. Then? Were they in London the whole time? Okay. Were they in London the whole, the whole time? Okay. The whole time? No, they? No, they um, weren't. They weren't. They also went to Paris. Number two. Where? Where are you in Los Angeles last weekend? Okay, excellent. Were you in Los Angeles last weekend? No. No, I wasn't. wasn't. No, I wasn't. I, I was. I was. I was. I was in San Francisco. I, and it's not a question. So this one I'm going to cross. It's not a question. No, I wasn't. Okay. I was in San Francisco. It's a period, right? When it's a question, we have a question. When it's a statement, it's a period. Okay, now the next one. How? How was, How was it? it? How was it? It was great. Great. But? but it was, it was foggy. foggy and cool as usual. Short. Foggy and cool as usual. As usual. As usual. <laughs> Where? Mm -hmm. Where? Were you away last weekend? Were you away last weekend? Uh, I, mean, yes. I were in Istanbul. Istanbul. Yes, I was. Yes. Okay. I was. was in Istanbul. Mm -hmm. Let me see. Okay. Yes, I was in Istanbul. Uh -huh. Uh -huh. Really? How long? Were you there? Were you there? How long were you there? For almost a week. I, I was, was there, on there on business. I was there on business. For. Were you at home last night? Were you at home last night? Were you at home last night? No, not really. We, we, were, we, were, we were, were somewhere else. We were somewhere else. Where? Were we? Where? Where? where, where, where? Where were, where, 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 where were you? Where were you? I, I was, was at my brother for a visit. I was at my brother's. I was at my brother's for a visit. Okay. When you say at my brother's, it means that house is not obligatory. To write house, right? When you say at what I was at my brother's. It's understandable that it's that brother's house, right? Okay. Uh, you... Teacher. Yes, please. In this case, the answer is called full answers. Okay. If you have like, where were you? I was at my brother's for a visit. That would be a full answer. Okay. And the case of the... Um, short answer. No, I wasn't. It's a short answer, no? Short answer, yes. Okay. Okay, like for example, if you say, where were you at my brother's for a visit? That is a short answer. It's a direct answer, but it's a short answer. Yes, uh, you say, teacher, I ask you this because of, where was Jason in San Francisco? Exactly. Okay. That is a short answer, but over there it says answer full. Yeah, I know that. Okay, so. I think this is a mistake in the in the exercise because uh, the I don't know the the exercise told us that is a full answer and include period. Yes. But in this case, it's San Francisco. Mm -hmm. It's not. I think well, it's a mistake. Yeah, we can say that it's a mistake. Now, one thing about the platform. Okay. Uh, sometimes we say we say the contrast over there, uh, but uh, we need to try one answer, another answer, and another answer, okay, until we get the right answer. So we shouldn't give up, right? Sometimes, uh, yes, sometimes they, there are mistakes. Sometimes there are other options because sometimes there are different options that we don't consider. They are not necessarily 
mistakes. But in this case, because of the instructions, yeah, that's gotta be, mm -hmm. yeah. All right, so then, but I say, my dear uh, Doña Yolanda, we are all humans. We all make mistakes, okay? We can be experts, but we make mistakes. Yes. No, but the book is expert, an expert, <laughs> <laughs> an expert. Uh, by the way, by the way uh, you, remember, you remember that yesterday, that last night, there was no comma, I, and there was a space. And the other one was call. Uh, we put didn't, but no, didn't, didn't go there. And it was not, no, I didn't, I called. No, no, it was, no, I called a friend and he drove me. So it was without the didn't. Uh -huh. so but was, you are a human. <laughs> no, I'm not a human. I'm a superhuman. <laughs> oh, okay. <laughs> See, I'm a superhuman. Look, here is another mistake to prove it. Okay. So, but believe me, my heart is in my hand to help. Okay. Yes, my heart is in my hand to help. Yes, we are, we make mistakes. We are human, right? Of course. Yes. Which is not an excuse. I try my best to check, to double check, not to make mistakes. But big books from edit, editor, I mean, editors' houses come with mistakes. And I find the mistakes, and you find the mistakes. But we, like I said, we're human. Uh -huh, we're human. All right, excellent. Very good. Now, no questions about this. Let's continue. Okay, let's continue. We're going to be practicing. We're going to be practicing questions. We're going to go in order. We're going to call this, this side, we're going to call it A, and this side, we're going to call it B. Okay. You say, why teacher? Well, we're going to call it A and B if I find letter B, okay? So we're going to call it A and B because, um, this is going to be the first section and it's going to be the second section, no divisions here, but okay. We're going to practice this first and then like this. So you say, teacher, what about jobs? Um, the thing is that uh, normally we don't want to think about the dead. And normally jobs are for the people who are dead. We say, he was an engineer. Okay, you say, hey, what is your dad? Well, my dad is dead. He was an engineer. He worked in this company and he did this and this and that. Or if you talk about the other famous people who died, uh, you say he was a writer. He wrote several books on this and this and these topics. Okay, let's see. Very good. Now, volunteers to make these questions. First, let's see. Were you mm -hmm, last night? Were you happy last night? Yes, I was. Were you happy last night? No, I wasn't. Happy, tired, sleepy, hungry, thirsty, busy, worried, nervous, sad, upset, hot, cold, and sick. Now we say, were you hot? Okay, were you hot? Let me see, here it is right, hot. Were you hot? You say, yeah, I was hot last night. I slept without, okay, <laughs> no, I slept in shorts because it was, I was hot. Okay, or you can say, I was cold. I was cold, I had to use a chapina, right? The blanket was not, a hospital blanket that is like uh, those uh, coladores for atoll, right? So they're very thin. So no, a uh, blanket, uh, a chapina, right? What, those thick blankets made of uh, 
I don't know, very fine thread. Okay, very good, volunteers. I, I had, let me see. I'm going to begin with Doña Yolanda Cativo and she chooses who to ask. Okay. Uh, uh, Mr. Elvis Abrego, were you tired last night? Okay. Yes, I was tired last night. Okay, excellent. Very good. Now, Doña Milagro uh, Mira, you choose the person that you want to ask. Luis Alonso, were you happy last night? Oh, yes, I was, Milagro. <laughs> okay. Very, very happy. <laughs> very, very happy. <laughs> okay. Excellent. Are you, no, were you hot last night, Mr. Dagobert? I hot, always you are hot. No. <laughs> <laughs> that is for Don Dagoberto Rodriguez. Okay, he's my 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 husband. <laughs> this is the reason, teacher. <laughs> okay. okay. No, by a ser de que piensen mal. No, we didn't think bad. We didn't say anything. Okay. <laughs> okay, so no answer, right? Don't go over to too much information. Okay, too much information. Please, no much. Yeah, too much information. Okay, Claudita. No, no more, please. <laughs> okay, Claudita, your question, and you choose the volunteer. Okay, um, Mauricio Morales, were you? Um, Busy last night? Yes, I was busy. Okay, yes, I was. Very good. Okay, thank you very much. Now I have Don Elvis Abrego. You choose the volunteer. Uh, <laughs> volunteer, not the victim. Okay. So, sorry, I, I lost the. Uh, yes. Okay. Uh, can you the, the next please? Because I lost the. I will wait. The screen for the. the uh, let's go to Don Mauricio Morales. Teacher, volunteer. Now yes. <laughs> Mauricio Morales, you select okay. the person that you want yeah. to ask. Uh -huh. Sure. Uh, were you were you sick last night? Who is the question for? Sorry. Uh -huh. Who is the question for, Don Mauricio? Who are you asking? Is, uh, were you sick last night? Uh huh. Who are you? Ah, uh -huh. sorry. Uh, Cristian Muñoz. Okay. What is the question? Were you sick last night? No, I wasn't. No, I wasn't. Excellent. Very good. Now, Don Rafael. Mm, Claudia, were you upset last night? Um, what is the meaning of upset? Upset is when you are not happy about something that happened. Is like uh, angry for a reason, okay? Mm -hmm. uh -huh. it happened to you, and then you you felt upset. Mm -hmm. <laughs> yes. Yes, I was. <laughs> <laughs> okay. 
Yes, explain, I explain us why. <laughs> Aha, Claudita. Oh, okay. Explain why. Okay, thank you very much. Now let's see the next one. Who, who wants to ask another question? Okay, I have Don Cesar Oviedo. Choose the volunteer. Uh, Andrea Sosa, were you nervous last night? Uh, no, I wasn't nervous last night. No, I wasn't. Okay, very good. It's good. <laughs> okay, now Doña Milagro Mira. You choose the volunteer. Mm -hmm. Okay, maybe maybe she didn't listen. No, sorry. No. Okay. Isia Muñoz, can you choose volunteer? Um, let me see. Alexander Marroquin, mm -hmm. were you tired last night? Yeah. No, I wasn't. No, I wasn't. Okay, excellent. Okay. Now we're going to change the questions. Change the questions. We're going to go to the second second section. B. Were you at mm -hmm. home last night? Okay. So the ones that we have are at home, at school, at work at the beach, at the park, at the supermarket, at the movies, at the, at the hospital, at the airport, at the stadium, at the gym, and at church. At the church. Okay, so were you at church last night? Yes, I was. Were you at the beach last night? No, I wasn't. Okay, volunteers. Mm. Yes, don't me, go. teacher. I'm depending. Oh, okay, sure. Go ahead and choose the okay. uh, Where, where, Florence? Florence, were you, were you, up the gym last night? No, I wasn't. I I I was at home. Okay, excellent, very good. Now, Claudita. Okay, Alexander Marroquin. Were you at a restaurant last night? No, I wasn't. I would like. <laughs> <laughs> of course. Yes, of course. Okay, very good. Now let's see another volunteer. Doña Milagro Mira. Uh -huh. You choose the volunteer. Uh, for Noemi. Okay. Where were you at the Part last night? No, I wasn't. I was at the supermarket. Okay, excellent. Now, Noemi, now that you are there, please ask another volunteer. Okay. Karina Lizard, were you at work last night? No, I wasn't. Mm -hmm. Okay, excellent. Karina, now make the question and you choose another volunteer. Sarsenio Raul, were you at the hospital last night? No, I wasn't. Okay, excellent. Now, Don Raul, please ask somebody else. Yeah. 
a uh, milagro mira okay were you at work last night no i wasn't i mm -hmm. i were at I, the movies i was at the movies okay excellent thank you very much now let's continue let's move on because time is flying okay well exercise three conversation welcome back okay this is an adaptation okay so listen and practice hey sarah welcome back oh hi Jimbo. how are you doing i'm fine say where did you go tell me okay let's see where do i begin oh yeah i know well first i went to new york i visited relatives there i went shopping at bloomingdale's Wow, that's wonderful. What else did you do? Did you visit any interesting places? Besides stores down 3rd Avenue, I visited Muji on 59th Street. It's a Japanese store. Did you buy anything? <laughs> Hardly. The prices. How about you? Did you go anywhere? Not really. I stayed home on vacation. I didn't have any money. Okay. Volunteers to practice the conversation. Okay, Noemi. And, uh, okay, Don Cesar Oviedo is going to be, Jim is going to be Don Cesar Oviedo, and Sarah, okay, Noemi is going to be Sarah. Okay, so let's begin. Hey, Sarah, welcome back. Oh, hi, Jimbo, how are you doing? I am fine, Say. Where did you go tell me about it? Oh, let's see. Where do I begin? Oh, yeah, I know. Well, first I went to New York. I visited relatives there. I went shopping at Bloomingdale's. Wow, that's the wonderful. What also did you do? Did you visit and any interesting places? Mm -hmm. It starts down Third Avenue. I visited Muji on 59th Street. It's a Japanese store. Did you buy anything? Hardly the prices. How about you? Did you go anywhere? No, really. I stay home all vacation. I didn't have any money. Okay, excellent. Very good. Thank you very much. Now, let me see. I have. Don Elvis uh, Abrego is going to be Jim, and uh, Andrea Sosa is going to be Sarah. Okay. Hey, Sarah, welcome to back. Oh, oh, hi, Jimbo. How are you doing? I'm fine. Say, where do you go? Where do you go? Tell me about. It's okay. Let's see. Where do I be? Oh yeah, I know. Well, first I went to New York. I visited relatives. 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 There. Relatives there. Relatives there. Yes. I was shopping at Blooming Bloomingdale. Bloomingdale. Hmm. Wow, that's wonderful. What else did you do? Did, did you visit any interesting place? Places? Places? Places store? Uh, Places store on 3 Avenue. I visited Mimuji on 59th Street. It's a Japanese store. Did you buy anything? Probably. This place for about you. Did you go anywhere? Not really. I stayed home all vacation. I didn't have any money. Okay, excellent. Thank you very much. Now you see, uh, Bloomingdale's is on the corner of um, 
59th Street and Lexington, right? Lexington. So on 59th Street and Lexington, on the corner, we have Bloomingdale's, that is by Macy's. And then on 59th Street, down the street, is Muji, which is a Japanese store. Okay, let's see. I have other volunteers. I have, uh, let me see, Don Rafael is going to be Jim, and uh, Doña Milagro Mira is going to be Sarah. Okay, let's begin. Hey, Sarah, welcome back. Oh, hi, Jimbo. How are you doing? I'm fine. Say, where did you go? Tell me about it. Okay, let's see. Where do I begin all year and now? We first I went to the New York. I visited a relative there. I went shopping at the Blooming's Day. Blooming Day. Mm -hmm. Blooming Days. Wow, that's wonderful. What else did you do? Did you visit any interesting places? Besides far down the third avenue, I visit Moji on the on 50, 50, 59th Street. On the 59th Street is a Japanese store. Did you buy anything? Hardly. The prices. How about you? Did you go anywhere? No, really. I stayed home all vacation. I didn't have any money. Mm -hmm. Okay, excellent. Very good. Thank you very much. Now, this is like, it's like saying, how are you? How are you doing? How are you doing? How are you doing? Right? How are you doing? It's the same as how are you? Okay, let's see. Very good. Um, I see no more volunteers. Let's move on. Okay, we're going to be saying, uh, I took a vacation. We're going to practice this and say, first, I took a vacation. Where did you go? I went to Argentina. How did you, how did you go there? I flew with American Airlines. How much was the ticket? It was, $449. How did you pay? I paid by credit card. Who went with you? I went all by myself. Why didn't your wife go with you? She had to work. Where did you stay? I stayed at NH Collection uh, Buenos Aires Crillon. How much was the room? It was $47. How long did you stay? I stayed 10 days. You can say I stayed for 10 days too. How much did you spend at the end? The total was $1,250. How did you get around? I traveled by bus mostly. How did you, re no, when did you return? I got back last Saturday. Okay, so that would be uh, the idea. Now, I need uh, one for A and one for B. A asks the questions. B answers the question. Okay. Volunteers. I have two volunteers. Doña Yolanda Cativo is A. <clears throat> and I need one B. Don Dagoberto Rodriguez is going to be B. Okay. Very good. Yes. Where did you go? I went to Argentina. How did you go there? I flew with American Airlines. How much was the ticket? It was uh, 449. How did you pay? I paid with credit card. Who went with you? I went all by myself. Why didn't your wife go with you? She had to work. <laughs> Where did you stay? I stay in NH Collections, Buenos Aires, Crillon. How much was the room? 
I was 47. How long did you stay? I stayed 10 days. How much did you spend at the end? The total was uh, $12.50. Um, so, mm -hmm. Okay. How did you get around? I traveled by bus mostly. When did you return? I got back last Saturday. Okay, excellent, very good. Now we have uh, two more volunteers. And remember I had four volunteers. So Noemi is going to be asking the questions and Don Alexander Marroquin is going to be answering the questions. Okay, let's go. Okay, where did you go? I went to Argentina. How did you get there? How did you I, go there? Sorry. I flew with American Airlines. How much was the ticket? It was $449. How did you pay? I paid by credit card. Who went with you? I went all by myself. Why didn't your wife go with you? She had to work. Where did you stay? I stayed at an NH collection Buenos Aires Crillon. How much was the room? It was $47. How long did you stay? I stayed 10 days. How much did you spend at the end? The total was 1,250 bucks. How did you get around? I traveled by bus mostly. When did you return? I got back last Saturday. Okay, excellent, wonderful, very good. Now, Doña Milagro Mira is asking the questions and answering the questions. We have another volunteer, Don Mauricio Morales. Okay, Don Mauricio Morales is answering the questions and Doña Milagro Mira is making the questions. Okay, let's be. Mauricio, where did you go? Where did you go? To Argentina. How did you go there? There? there. I fly with American mm Airlines. -hmm. How much was the ticket? It was four hundred forty-nine dollars. How? Who did you pay? How? How did you pay? How? How did you pay? I pay by a credit card. Who went with you? I went by myself. Why didn't your wife go with you? She had to work. Where did you stay? I stay at NH Collection. How much was the room? Mm -hmm. How much? $47 per day. How, how long did you stay? I stayed 10 days. Mm -hmm. How much did you spend of the M? The total was $1,250. Who did you get around? How? How did you get around? How did you get around? I traveled by bus, mostly. The, when did you return? The back of the study. Okay. Thank you, Molly. Thank you very much. All right. Excellent. That is very good. Only two more people, and that's it. Okay, Doña Andrea Sosa, Andrea Sosa and Luis, Al Luis Alonso. Okay, let's begin. Andrea asks questions. Where did you go? I went to Argentina. How did you go there? I flew uh, with American Airlines. 
How much was the ticket? It was a four hundred forty-nine. How did you pay? I pay by credit card. When with you? Uh, I went all by myself. 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 Mm -hmm. uh, why didn't your wife go with you? She had to work. Where did you stay? I stayed at NH Collection in Buenos Aires, Crillon. How much was the room? It was uh, $47. How long did you pay? I stayed 10 days. How much did you expect uh, at the end? Uh, the total was uh, 1,250. Mm -hmm. Excellent. How did, how did you get around? I traveled by bus mostly. When did you return? I got back last Saturday. Okay, excellent, very good, wonderful. My dear ones, <clears throat> unfortunately, time is up, okay? So, we're going to stop here. We're going to continue tomorrow, okay? We're going to continue tomorrow and uh, I hope to see you tomorrow, okay? God bless you all. Sleep well. Thank you. Sure. Bye bye. Thank you. Thank you, teacher. Bye bye. bye, -bye. bye, -bye. See Thank you. you. You're welcome. Bye. bye.